Hello and welcome back to GBA Let's Play, where we play the jewels and the junk of Nintendo's most advanced system. We're back in Pokemon today, and I'm going to see if I can get through the entire uh, map of routes 132 through 134 without having to actually, like, do too much backtracking. So first step is counter here. See what we get in Route 132. We get a Beedrill. Not bad. Let's try the Nest Ball. Alright. Come on! Literally the only move that it knows. There we go. Hmm. I don't know much about music, so I was like trying to come up with a rapper name, but it's just a female. I don't know. got a Ninkata here, which is also okay, but frankly I'm okay with... I don't really care which one I get. Okay, good, he's ground-type. That makes it a lot easier, thankfully, but... Alright. Lots of Nummel. And camera up. It's just slightly annoying, but whatever. Yes, I should have swapped, but whatever. Alright. Fight the two of them. This route is honestly one of the more annoying just because of the fact that you have to, like, Take such a roundabout way to get everything. It is, however, very rewarding to like be like, oh yeah, navigate it correctly, but it's still an, it's still incredibly annoying to try and work through. Okay. As it turns out, Metagross is busted. Ah, dang it. Oh well. I try to fight both of them together. <laughs> Alright, fight you. It's all too easy for me. I just want to point that out. Alright, so now let me see. I'm going to minimize that. We want to go down. Nope! Alright, that was my bad. Let's try that again. I want to collect everything on the bottommost path first. Basically three paths to go. There's uh, top, middle, and bottom. I'm trying to get the bottom path knocked out first. Alright. Go from the very bottom part of this. Yes. Okay, we missed it. Good. Fight you two. Now we catch a Feebas here, which is actually really nice if I was trying to get my low tick. 
This is if I was actually trying to get my load to go, this would be incredibly annoying. But thankfully, I'm not trying to get my load sick. I can just name it Fabio and put it in the box and never look at it again. I have Kyogre, who will not die because he's a goddamn Kyogre. So let's see. We go over here. Grab this. Somebody's put two thousand dollars there to taunt me. All right, now we want next. Okay, so it looks like no matter where we go, we end up on that. Good. All right. All right so yeah, we just end up right here. I believe that we can get perfect. All right. Now, if we wanted to die, we could, but without uh, without a Waylord and a Relicanth, there's really no point. So, I don't believe I have any of those. I don't think I have either of those or a Whalmer to get a Waylord, so. Alright. Uh... I don't know. I'm bad at this. I'm bad at this. You're, you're Kyle. You're Kyle, I don't even know why. Okay. Now we get uh, some fun with these two, and then we can go back down. Alright. And down. Okay, so now we can come back down through this little maze of water. And go out this way to this landmass. And fight these two guys. That is one route down, and we it only took us a little bit over six or seven minutes to get it. Not bad. Let's go from the middle route, which memory serves, is basically just take the. Uh, okay. Hmm. I'll we'll have to try and get that there. Oh, there's a lot of. There's some annoying shenanigans on the top route there. Okay. So we probably won't be getting all four routes. But there's or all all of the stuff on here, but like I'll get it in between episodes. So now we want to try and go. Yes, perfect. Exactly what I wanted. get... Okay, it looks like there's not really an option for us to get to that little cove that we accidentally made our way to earlier. So we're just gonna go up. Oh, that one's gonna be annoying. Yep. All right. How do you even get there? Whatever. Um, so, doesn't matter where we go, we can't actually reach that, so... Let's just get as much as we can, honestly. Yeah, even if we'd gone down, we wouldn't have been able to reach that. Fight you two. Also, he said that he's lost count of how many battles he's fought, but he also just, like, has really bad math skills, and he's very forgetful, so he's like, eh, 
six? I don't know. Wow, we have like two endures in a row? That's just annoying. Can this? Nope. Dang it. All right. Oh, this actually does get us here. Okay. Why use false wipe in a battle you're trying to win? Like, unless it's just super powerful, which I don't recall it being. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay, there's just two more things for us to grab. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This. That's it. In Pacific Log. Now, there's basically just the top most path, which is actually relatively easy to get everything on. You just kind of got to go at the top of everything. Okay, so we got this so much. There's just so much shit that they have to get. Uh. Um, Alright. In lieu of that, I'm just going to go for the one little co gr uh, code that we got to earlier that I kind of. I should have actually grabbed when we were there, just because. I wouldn't then have to go back to it, but oh well. Alright. Over here. Fight you. See how much okay, we play just one hit shot, one shot's it. Here we go. And this is why I bought four full heals. And I also have a lava cookie left, so wide as well. Okay, now this is nothing because nothing that we do here will lead us to any, dang it, any different path. Hang on, gotta get my controller working again. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nope. Hang on, I gotta pause here. Uh, uh, pause. So yes, like I said, there was nothing there. Uh, that we hadn't already gotten. So now we're going to go clear out another path of everything, and then we'll basically just have one more spot to get things in. I also like that there's no, uh, like, trainers who want to refight you on this route because that would just be annoying. That's annoying. Alright, uh, full heal. Alright. Now, let's see, I want... Nope, oh, hang on. Wrong, wrong, wrong one. Alright, so I want to go down here, which does this. Gets me to this one. Gives me an item. Sweet, one more rare candy for the collection. We get over here. Okay, so there's nothing there. Alright, so... Uh, da, da. Yeah, that just leaves me down there, and then this, and then aside from that one trainer, this is the last bit of stuff. <laughs> On these routes. So sweet, I was able to knock it out in just one, uh, in just one episode. Awesome. So next time we can start on, uh... 
So where are we again? We are here. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we want to go up over here. This leaves us right here. Okay. Come on. There we go. Actually fight me. All right. So now we just need to come over here. Then we do this. Awesome. All right, low tad. Didn't even bother to do something, anything else. All right. All right, there we go. Awesome. Now there's just literal one more place for me to grab, for me to fight a dude. So we can finish that off. Which is basically just the top most option, always. Yep, here we go. Last fight on this route. I do sincerely appreciate the fact that they don't make you go uh, through here to fight people again. Like, they're, they realize this is a one-time thing. Alright, so now what we can do... I feel like uh, now what we can do is we can actually go and get to Evergrande. I feel like this game is poorly paced, though. I will... I will give it that. The pacing could be better because, like, if you look at the town map when we fly, you have all of these towns so clustered together, and they still feel like it takes a while to get between them. But then over here, it's, like, super far to walk between two towns. And then you have the ocean, which has, like, nothing in it. I mean, yes, it has lots of trainers, which I'm appreciative of, but I feel like the game could have been better paced towards the end. It was There's a lot of stuff in the beginning, and then at the end, like, you're just doing so much between everything. There's so much travel, there's just a lot. And I'm not... Like, I'm not sure how you could have remedied that, aside from maybe just, like, adding more stuff in the beginning, but... Or, like, adding more stuff at the end or spreading stuff out a bit more, but then that kind of, then I guess that could have broken the uh, idea of the yin-yang. I don't know. All right, Scott. Yep, that's your last thing. Now, all right, let's go fight Wally. Oh, sweet, Altaria. Okay. Uh, attack. This shouldn't kill... I'm gonna throw a ball now because I'm actually rather terrified of that thing. Yes! Alright. Hmm. Let's see, it's a giant-ass cotton ball. I mean, I'm gonna be crass and just name it Snoop. Alright, now. Put a heal. I have a soda pop still. Fight Wally. Alright, Wally, what do you got? You got a lick a tongue, which means that you are nothing but normal types. 
Dang it. Dang it, Wally. Alright. Which means T2000 should have no trouble here. Then that said, Super Fang is still, you know, Super Fang, so. Really? That's. It's your last move, and you decide to use a double slap. Alright. Well, Wally was significantly easier than he normally is. But. That's that for this episode, so thank you very much for watching another episode of GBA Let's Play. I'll be back tomorrow with more Kingdom Hearts. I haven't played it yet, so I don't know how, you know, that's going. But, yeah, Kingdom Hearts tomorrow, and then Wednesday, and then Friday, more Pokemon. We're going to get through Victory Road, so come back then. See you later.